cuties. We're so happy to see you. Today we wanted to do a fun sing-along. I love to sing. Do you like to sing? Yes. Uh-huh. And I also love stories. And this is a wonderful sing-along because we get to hear a story along with it. And we're going to do lots of following directions. And I want you to be able to sing along with me, but I know you don't know all the words. So there is one part that we sing over and over. And each time we do, I'm going to point to you to let you know it's time for you to sing the words long, long ago. Okay, let's give it a try. I'm going to point and you're going to sing it. Ready? Long, long ago. Good job, cuties. Now. There once was a princess long ago, long ago, long ago. There once was a princess long ago, long, long ago. Ah, that's right. There was once a princess long, long ago, and she lived in a very, very tall tower that went way up in the sky. So we are going to use our hands and we're going to make our tall tower. Ready? She lived up in a big high tower, a big high tower, a big high tower. She lived up in a big high tower long, long ago. That's right. And everybody in all of the kingdom loved the princess because she was friendly and kind and brave and so helpful. But there was one who did not like the princess. It was a wicked fairy. And this wicked fairy took out her wand and she cast a spell. So we're all going to use our fingers and pretend it's our magic wand. You two cuties, ready? A wicked fairy cast a spell, cast a spell, cast a spell. A wicked fairy cast a spell. You turn long, long ago. That's right. And this was not a nice spell was a curse <gasps> and this curse made the princess fall asleep for a hundred years which is a very long time so we're all going to pretend that we fall asleep like the princess you two cuties ready the princess slept for a hundred years a hundred years a hundred years the princess slept for a hundred years here's your part Long, long ago. Well, everybody in all of the kingdom was so very, very sad because they loved their kind, helpful princess and they wanted her back. But they could not wake her up because the curse kept her asleep. And what could they do? Well, luckily, a brave young prince came riding on his horse all of the way to the kingdom. So we're going to pretend to ride our horses. Ready? Here we go, cuties. A brave young prince came riding on his horse, riding on his horse, riding on his horse. A brave young prince came riding on his horse. When? Long, long ago. He did. He came riding all the way there to come save the princess. And that wicked fairy, she didn't want him to come help. And so once again, she took out that wand and she waved it. And this time, she put a curse on the forest all around the princess's tower. And it made all of the trees grow big branches and viney thorns to block him out. And I know you guys are growing bigger and bigger and stronger every day. So let's stretch our arms like those branches. The forest grew up big and tall, big and tall, big and tall. The forest grew up big and tall. Long, long ago. That's right. So then when the prince got there, he could see that tall tower all the way up in the sky, but he could not get through that thick forest that the fairy had created. But luckily, what do you think he had with him that he could use? Sword. A sword. So he took out his sword and he started to chop away. But it was a lot. So let's all take our swords and we will pretend to help him. Ready? He chopped those trees down one by one, one by one, one by one. He chopped those trees down one by one, one, one ago. That's right. Finally, whew, he made it all the way through and he ran into the tower and he climbed up the stairs and up, 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 and where he found the princess oh, asleep. And he said, wake up, princess, wake up. But she could not wake because of the spell. 
What could he do? Hmm. What could he do, Nora, to help wake her? Um, put in another spell. Another spell? I don't think he had brought his magic wand. What do you think he could do? Kiss her. <gasps> True love's kiss could break the spell. It works every time. So, let's all blow a kiss. Ready? He woke the princess with a kiss. With a kiss. With a kiss. He woke the princess with a kiss. Long, long ago. Oh, that's right. And don't you know it? That kiss worked. And the princess woke up. And everybody was so happy throughout the kingdom because they had their wonderful, friendly, kind, helpful, brave princess back. So, of course, they cheered and celebrated. I know we can all do that, right? Then everybody clapped and cheered, clapped and cheered, clapped and cheered. Then everybody clapped and cheered. One more time. Long, long ago. Oh my goodness. Did the cuties do a wonderful job of listening and following and singing along with us? Mm -hmm. Thank you for all of your help, Nora. That was a lot of fun. I hope we can sing together again really soon. But for now, bye-bye.